Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is April 19th and we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, finance, and more. And we've done a lot of these over the last couple of years, I guess. And uh, it's basically an open forum uh, topic of discussion jumps around a lot mainly focus on politics and economics as for who we are where i'm active where i'm present how you can follow this work i do have a patreon page and i post a lot of content all there basically any videos that we're loading up any pics that i'm doing behind the scenes uh, more discussion will be taking place on patreon it's a great place to follow this work and if you do have the funds it is a fantastic place to support this work Okay, it's the biggest bang for your buck. And you don't have to uh, subscribe uh, to be able to follow the work. I don't put anything behind paywall. So everything is open to everyone. Uh, and if you just want to know what we're updating, uploading and stuff like this, you can just do a, I believe, just a follow instead of supporting with funds. But supporting with funds, a fantastic way to support this project. We are live streaming this on Twitch and uh, this is the live streaming platform that we've decided to use uh, for uh, sharing information and uh, our twitch account is linked up with the discord page that we have and what i'm doing right now sometimes run where left sometimes notifications don't get sent out so i'm just sending out a little notification to people <laughs> sometimes there's been delays ah here we go hannah how are you doing welcome welcome catholic traditionists good evening good folks i hope that your sunday has been blessed indeed very fine sunday and we are live streaming this on twitch and the chat that you see popping up over here this is the discussion people popping in and that's where the conversation takes place aside from me going on on rants and there's discussion between the people that are watching this live okay we do announce these things on twitter gap minds vk and hello 30 minutes before we go live padre 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 happy bicycle day chicho is it bicycle day I've participated in a couple of those riding the bike. Actually, one. One of them I was more of a uh, bystander. Bystander. Hey, Chicho. Mike Wisdom. How are you doing? Will Show. Good evening. Good evening. Absurdicon. How's it going? Rank 8. Hey, Chicho. Been watching your YouTube channel for a while and finally made it to stream. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to a live stream. And thank you for watching the content on uh, youtube and bitshoot those are the two places we're uploading our videos on bitshoot is having a little bit of a hiccup i'm having a really hard time uploading the previous three live streams that we've had or three of them anyway in the last five so i'm going to try to get them up there um, and uh, we'll have a discussion on the third video sharing platform where we're going to try to uh, have upload videos as well just to make sure we decentralize just in case if one or two get cut we still have information we're acting as a node and passing on information and whatnot and we are in times of pandemics and it's a good idea to flatten the curve end of story i know there's a lot of discussion going around with a lot of different people saying real not real this that whatever it might be uh i doubt it if you're seeing healthcare workers saying that we should be not trying to flatten the curve because they're on the front lines so take it easy think about uh the repercussions what your actions uh are causing and uh, just look at the data uh, and <laughs> logic prevails okay no matter what your take on the situation is it's a good idea to give a break to your healthcare workers and other essential workers okay aside from that i'm going to go to the chat we're going to have a little discussion uh and i'm going to get 
a little bit caught up uh, with things. By the way, I got Cornelian cherry liqueur going on right now. Okay. Dark ruler whiz. How are you doing? Always be making. How are you doing? Hello, Chicho. Appreciate you watching my video. It means a lot to me for sure, brother. For sure, brother. Uh, I it was feedback that got me to where I am now, right? Some of the stuff I took too hard. Some of them I said, no, I'm going in my own direction. So all eyes are fantastic, and everyone that's been watching, you know, watching my work, following my work here, discussing and stuff like this. Thank you very much for all the advice and suggestions and recommendations you've given over the years. Um, without you, we wouldn't be here. Okay. I'm here in Wake Martin. I don't know how you do it, brother. Your timing is insane. Spider-Man, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Thank you for everything. My pleasure, man. Thank you guys, man. Hannah, we won't flatten the curve ever. Uh, flatten the curve just means make sure we're giving your healthcare industry enough time to deal with a possible influx of patients that come in. Basically, you don't want to overload the system. Because once you overload things, things break. It's not a good idea to break the healthcare systems right now. Didn't get the ride my bike today, either. Uh, either, but still a beautiful day in my neck, in my neck of the woods. Yeah, same here. I had the opportunity to go for a walk. It was fantastic. Got a little bit of almonds and walnuts going on as well. Okay, a little bit of snack. There are reports of it coming back to people who have already gotten it right now i can honestly tell you hannah as you know i've been following the data from january right so i've been following the data from january and the news and stuff i've been pretty up to date with this right and we've collected the data we've, we've done COVID 19 math discussions and where it's going the data is flawed there's no doubt about it now you can say it's flawed in this direction. You can say it's flawed in that direction. It, irrelevant, right? So right now, all we can do is look at the data and say, okay, what are the possibilities, right? But there's so much secondary, tertiary, multiple levels, steps away that people are discussing of what's going on. Thank you very much for the bits, uh, Will. There's so much stuff coming in. It's impossible and it's a silly thing to do to jump on one of the things and say that's happening it's if it's like the flu people are going to get the flu again and again and again and again and again right so i'm on the mindset that this is a seasonal thing i'm on the mindset that it mutates i'm on the mindset that it could be what they're saying it could not be what they're saying and who are they to say you know whose words are we taking in are we taking the reports of whistleblowers we know what happened to a couple of whistleblowers that came out of china they act you know there were a couple of people that got the virus and died or died right uh which is emphasizing the point of why we need organizations such as wikileaks right because if in our societies there were trusted institutions organizations right that were safe havens for workers for people that are working inside governments and multinational corporations and huge institutions if they see something wrong being done then they can leak the information anonymously to platforms that are there to hold power accountable right so this is a whole circular thing that's going on what we are seeing right now in our societies is the lack of whistleblowers and the lack of platforms safe havens for people to release information so their lives won't be put at risk there is a systematic failure in our current structure of politics and economics and where institutions where establishment where governments where multinational corporations are focusing their attacks those are the places that we need to protect 
right now one of the places that is being attacked the hardest okay out of the resources put towards destroying wikileaks and julian assange are unbelievable right so if these powers are trying to destroy an institution that is there to provide transparency to all of us so we know what's going on instead of having to say it's coming back it's not coming back it's doing this it's that, 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 that. we need to do that right i'm sorry i'm being hard a little bit but it's uh, the things that i'm seeing taking place right now in our societies are insane right maybe not in america but elsewhere yes buddy martin i left my house for the first time in a month today wow traswell it was weird crazy where are you located reno mike good evening good evening you inspired me to play some monopoly today nice well so how did it go <laughs> did you win is that all liqueur or you mixed it uh, i mixed it with ice it's on the rocks <laughs> we're going to be here for two hours i'm going to be sipping maybe it is delicious chicho do you just watch the michael did you did you just watch the michael jordan documentary no holden who's how are you doing fast car good evening chicho just popping in to say hello 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 fast car thank you for popping in police have just left my pub two guys broke oh man martin yeah you know what i'm hearing that there's a lot of break-ins right now in uh, uh, a lot of break-ins into stores that are closed and stuff like this like if you look at break-in data where uh, a lot of petty theft occurs is when people go to work so in my part of the world anyway anywhere between 11 to 2 uh, 11 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon where people are at work and stuff you know there's people breaking into homes right but since everyone's locked down right now a lot of people are home right now all those thieves that used to break into people's homes are now breaking into stores uh establishments that are closed and that's unfortunate i hope they didn't do any damage martin i have no faith in the medical community we will be stuck inside as long as our politicians want to lock us up for hannah um i have less faith in our politicians than i do in the medical system that's for sure i got a good uh a pump so uh wasn't all bad ah okay i'm surprised no one tried it before though really did you see jing zing jing visit the wuhan last month he seemed very confident wearing a 50 cent mask in ground zero <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really watch his parade. Sorry, Chicho. I'll be lurking on this one. No worries, Spider Man. Thank you again for being so good. My pleasure, man. Uh, that follow on Twitch made. Oh, yeah, that's right. And by the way, Spider Man is doing a comic book uh, uh, stream on Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday at 2 p.m. my time. P P S P T D. Drunk Chicho. <laughs> I don't, Hannah. I don't think you've seen Drunk Chicho. You haven't. I'm so sorry that that uh, high scholar. Hello, you do. How are you doing? I'm in the US South, so you're locked in. My job allows me to work from home and we've transitioned to get groceries uh, delivered rather than go out. Ah, okay. We picked up Chinese food today, so I finally drove around my town. I was shocked how few people were wearing masks. Yeah, in my area, there aren't too many people wearing masks, but we're not a hot spot right now, right? And it seems like we're getting the wave that's coming through is very minor. So we're crazy lucky. We're crazy lucky, really. Uh, I'm amazed. We'll see. Hopefully the wave goes through and it, it stays this calm right but we're also in a sparse area so not sparse but it's not as dense as a lot of other places in the world so there's room to maneuver um, we'll see what happens but it is it's, it's a weird feeling going shopping when shopping i mean we stocked up before 
the panic hit in obviously you guys know because we were talking about it uh but no matter how much you stock up you still have to go through th you know you go through stuff so we went shopping again like three days ago four days ago it was surreal fear uh feeling i haven't seen that you haven't uh, seen drang <laughs> uh chicho do you think america will have another revolution or civil war i think uh holden who's i think we're seeing it right now i think we've been in a process of a revolution with slow mo right now because people are really don't know what what to do and i think we're seeing it globally like before covid hit if you recall three months ago there were mass demonstration in multiple countries around the world like everywhere it was a global demonstration pandemic people people rising up against centralized institutions this thing hits and those die down so we're going to see what happens right i think in the united states people have a tendency to pick the wrong battle right like right now there are people picking the wrong battle uh they're being played in my opinion all right where they're going outside and saying you know this thing is nothing covid is nothing and they want to you know get the capitalist system crony capitalist system machine churning again i realize why they're doing it because you know people are out of work they need to pay the bills and stuff like this but i don't recall people getting out and demonstrating on this level when the patriot act was constantly being renewed over the last 19 years right so and as far as i'm concerned that is a bigger better battle to pick than it's weird it's weird uh there were more uh they're more sorry at the moment got a sh uh, shock seeing uh standing there with my big smile you you caught them broken in martin is that what happened you caught the two people dude they picked the wrong guy i guess uh you do i'm fine i work from home and get bored you um i work from home but i'm not getting bored i'm anything but bored uh, it's actually crazy uh, it's, it, i can't say the right word because uh, it keeps me on my toes i think we're about 200 cases for my country oh, oh county not a hot spot either but why wouldn't uh you wear a mask if you can seems unnecessarily risky um possibly possibly i i don't wear a mask i can honestly tell you i don't wear a mask right uh but i don't go out a lot i don't go out and run so i'm not breathing hard so i'm not contaminating right i personally don't like it when runners are running around everywhere and breathing really hard and stuff so i think if you're releasing heavy then you should wear a mask if you're sick you should wear a mask if you're coughing you should wear a mask um you know it's the mask part i'm mask part i'm i can go either way okay centralized education seems to be suffering from covid might lead to a less uh, centralized mindset for people in the future uh traswell yeah centralized power is going to continue to try to accumulate more power through this thing for sure there's no doubt about that right um it, the centralized education institutions i guess but yeah we're seeing we've been seeing a decentralization of education where parents are realizing that wow what a horrendous job our centralized education is doing to educate kids and power them they're really just indoctrinating and them and it's basically a school to prison pipeline or, or a school to impoverishment pipeline so parents are getting more active and there's way more decentralization happening uh this is going to kick it into higher gear right so education is an amazing place to be if you want to be challenged there's no doubt about it COVID is nothing fanta uh fiat i i think you're wrong okay there, there's some people that i follow that i like their work they they call it nothing right it's hyped is there hype to it maybe 
Uh, is it being downplayed? Maybe. We don't know. No one can say COVID is nothing. No one, right? Because there's something going on. What is that thing, right? Are we calling COVID the virus? Or are we calling COVID uh, false flag? Are we calling COVID power grab? Are we calling COVID economic shift? Or what are you calling it, right? Uh, there's a lot going on. And it is definitely not nothing. If you think this is nothing, uh, you have no concept of history, economics, politics, uh, centralization of power, civil wars, precursors to global wars. There's something going on. It's cronyism. Oh, moderators, thank you very much for taking care of business. Brainless, thoughtless. Thank you for bringing up the Patriot Act. It gets renewed and nobody notices but some uh, libertarians. Yeah, Holden, who's I, I think the Patriot Act is renewed every six months or every it had a three year provision period. And when the Patriot Act was coming out, I was I was like, whoa, wait a second. Uh, everybody, you, you, do you see what they're doing? And everyone was like, we need it. We need it to protect ourselves. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot. I'm surrounded by idiots. Right? It, it was unbelievable. Right? But, and then slowly I realized that is a byproduct of our centralized education system. I indoctrinating people to bend the knee to authority. Right? Even though they don't know what authority is doing. Even though the authority is putting their heads on a chopping block and about to chop their heads off, they bend the knee to authority, right? Insanity, right? What do you think about? Snivy my booty. What do you think about? I'm not sure what that means. I have noticed a 50% in mask wearing people in my area. And yes, Chicho, I intercepted them. I was gentle. <laughs> nice. You were gentle. <laughs> All you would have to do, Martin, is as soon as they see you, you say, listen, gang, listen, guys, look, I'm just going to show you something right now. And don't freak out. Don't move because you're going to get me to hurt you. But I'm just going to show you something. And then go down and do 1,500 push-ups in five minutes. And then get up and go, okay, guys, uh, would you like to get on the ground? <laughs> A mass with a hide, uh, my epic beard. A mass with a hide, my, uh, my epic beard. Uh, I'm giving this one more month, then I will say F it and go outside. Tired of all this crap. We need to move on. Move on where, Hannah? We're not going to cure it. Cure what? Uh, a vaccine probably will take. Uh, I doubt it if the vaccine is going to cure it. <laughs> <laughs> oh spider-man thank you you guys are staying busy not a good way to be uh if i get it i get it oh well yeah i'm not gonna be a prisoner you don't have to be a prisoner anna there are people that have spent decades in solitary confinement in prison for speaking out and as far as some of the works that I've read from them, they have some of the freest minds ever, right? If you get it, there's a good chance to ruin your life. Possibly. Chichos go. How's life? Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? I've been looking at the Montreal uh, Quebec numbers. Not looking good, man. Damn. No, it won't. I'm 25 strong, healthy. My thought on mask is from an opportunity cost perspective, it's literally no effect to put on a mask versus the possibility of stopping the spread. I'm honestly more concerned that I might be on sim, uh, symptomatically spreading it than I am getting it myself. My age group is pretty safe. Yeah, Treswell, I agree with you. Don't get me wrong. I agree, right? Uh, one issue is for us, there were no masks around. We could make our own. Uh, and uh, I believe my partner has uh, ordered me a mask, so a mask is coming my way. But right now, I'm, I'm not. Uh, but I agree, it's a good idea. It's a good idea, right? Death rates are very low for people my age. Hannah, there are 
<laughs> there are there are uh, there could be severe health impacts associated with it and hannah we don't know what this is that's the kicker right we don't know what this is if you don't know what something is if there's a storm going on if you're you know you don't think the wind's too strong for you to go out realize that it might get a little stronger no that's the first thing i heard you say when i joined the stream it was out of context uh, fiat fiat the nwo rising new world order rising uh, it's be a prisoner for a year or so or potentially die and cause others to die youth is not a factor here young and old are dying alike and if they don't die they're still affected by it yeah i agree with uh absurdicon by the way uh elderly are the highest fatality group the second highest fatality group from one place i read where study was it i think it was out of france uh or news report it wasn't a study it was a news release uh obesity uh the second highest uh death group uh were obese people right US obesity rate is through the roof last time I checked okay and it's not elderly that are obese it's across the board that are obese right in Merino New Chicho the suicide watch subreddit is getting a flush of teenagers the rottens of the current uh, sociology so sociality is floating to the surface yeah there's going to be huge mental health issues for a while to come years to come really more people have died in car no hannah you can't compare that really here check this out hannah you hear here's one reason you should sit your ass down at home and don't go out deaths in the united states are down last time i checked some of the numbers one of the reasons is there isn't so much traffic on the roads anymore so there's less people dying of car accidents right so hey you want to save lives stay at home right <laughs> i think it exists but at a certain point we have to sure we see hannah um agreed with you that there's going to be movement going on the question is where are we going to go with this this is not just about you being able to go outside this is about how is our societies how is, how is our lives going to be structured structured after this as far as i'm concerned what we're seeing right now is the equivalent of hiroshima and nagasaki when hiroshima and nagasaki happened uh towards the end of world war ii okay most people didn't know what took place really there was discussion and all this jazz oh this this greatest big bomb this 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 but people really didn't understand what took place when that happened we went into the nuclear age right as far as i'm concerned what we're witnessing right now is on that level we're about to go into another age in terms of our societies what age is that going to be how is that going to be defined think about that that's what you should be spending a lot of time thinking about not that you can't stay home for a month uh, even though you got food shelter books entertainment uh, high-speed internet a girlfriend friends you can talk to no one shooting at you uh, fresh water when you turn on the tap you can take a shower you can poop and wet your ass hopefully you got enough toilet paper right there's a lot more going on there's a lot more going on uh stay focused keep your eyes on the prize man seriously um this is gonna rock the world you ain't seen nothing yet right nice thanks martin eyes on <laughs> you could still have your life ruined by it 
where you could ruin someone else's life. Stay inside. It's not worth it. Pretty simple. Surrounded by idiots reminds us space. Yeah, lonely piggy. I do love how good the mods are on the stream. I can barely read inappropriate comments before they vanish. So nice. Thanks. Thank you, mods. Huge respect to mods. <laughs> awesome. Seriously, they put a lot of work in. And in the background, right? Uh, are you American like us American? Am I American like you American? Uh, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm Canadian like you're an American. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't wave any flags. No, if that's what you mean. Quarantine might suck, but it's just so people are talking. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of discussion. Okay, gang, I think I'm scrolling down unless there's something let me scroll up see if there's anything directed towards me uh but up but up there's uh discussions going on between people so i'm gonna scroll 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 uh, thank you mods i see thank you mods again i'm not certain the media is particularly good lever okay there's discussions going on okay cool that's math by the way if you have Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, Hannah, I saw a great, just one more comment regarding this because I, I think you're saying, what did you say? And very few have died from it uh, where I'm at. Okay. Now, well, anyway, we'll leave that alone. Here, Chicho, uh, Silby. Hiroshima and Nagasaki showed a very scary face uh, for humanity. If a lion could kill millions of deer in one bite, he would feast, he would fast. Yeah right we're seeing we're seeing something on the same level really people are aware something dramatic has happened but they're not able to grasp what it is yet all right because there's so much misinformation disinformation confusion uh people were caught in on a panic people were so invested in the economic system that that's the only thing they could think about they thought all of a sudden that's caught the uh, cut the juice right the flow the funds and we've talked about this in personal finance very important to divest right very important to decentralize we, you know that's one of the first things we talked about when we put out the personal finance stuff right now two years ago uh when we started the personal finance uh streams right we talked about this i mentioned multiple times through live streams and straight up videos that we we're shooting it is extremely important to divest from this centralized economic system right that means that you have to make sure that you have sources of revenue for multiple places coming in you can't tie your future your family's future to a corporation to a centralized institution because when though they get hurt you will be the first to be sacrificed as we're seeing right now right people who say healthcare was associated with corporate it's there's a lot going on let's see what happens when the dust settles i'm hopeful by the way i think a lot of good is going to come out of this what are your rules your rules for quarantine Da, 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 quarantine for a couple of months and what pa, pa, pa. my intruders your intruders <laughs> da, da. why pa, pa. comparing covid to domestic violence come on guys who's doing that anti cage are you doing that or hannah are you doing that are you doing that hannah okay let's compare let's let's compare domestic domestic violence uh to u.s military intervention around the world right i don't see i don't see like really 19 years afghanistan iraq syria yemen libya ukraine honduras venezuela iran right that i there's, there's a bunch more right how many people have died because of us western nato foreign policy include that the congo include that 
all over Africa, right? Include that certain parts of it. How many people have died? According to what you're saying, everybody should drop what they're doing and go out into the streets and demonstrate against the military industrial complex, right? She's wearing masks, of course, and keeping three meters away, of course, right? Or six feet away or whatever it is, right? Nine feet away, right? But we've had the opportunity to do that for 19 years. Where were all these people? Hannah, were you this pissed, right? Were you this pissed that your tax dollars were being used to create tens of millions of refugees around the globe, right? I, by the way, I wrote, I'm not talking out of my ass about this. I've written some articles back in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. I looked at the refugee numbers, right? At one point, like 25%, 20% of the world's refugees were from Afghanistan, okay? And they were from Afghanistan because NATO was bombing the crap out of Afghanistan, right? Where were all these people saying, hey, wait a second, we're killing a lot of people. Maybe we should stop doing that. Oh, not only we're we killing a lot of people, we're spending billions, hundreds of billions of dollars blowing up US taxpayer money to kill a lot of people, right? How come, how come more people weren't more adamant about what was going on, more angry about it? All of a sudden they get angry because they're locked up inside of their house for two weeks, for a month. They're not even locked up. It's recommended that you stay indoors, eat your food, uh, in the U.S., you're getting you're getting shafted, right? The checks in the mail, right? In Canada, people are applying two thousand dollars a month so they can pay their rent. Other countries, they're getting some. You know, what's going on? Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Palestine, Lebanon, really? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Silb. Okay what about all those countries right where are the demonstrations where were they right where were they when the president of the united states was assassinating american citizens including a child with drones right were people angry about this any any anybody that's angry that's about this right the first thing I would do, I don't know any personally, they've never been in my face. The first thing I would do, I would say, where the hell were you when all these things were happening? Were you sitting on your toilet and wiping your ass with fresh toilet paper, right? There's a lot of hypocrisy in this world. Don't get caught up in it. I'm being harsh with you, Hannah. Chicho, sorry to turn this uh, a little dark. But I've seen the effects of the virus firsthand. A senior at my workplace suffered and passed within a day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. More are now testing positive and breathing like it might be their last breath. Really don't appreciate the fact that some people still don't take this virus seriously enough. People are dying. That should be enough. Stay home. Yeah, Lonely Piggy, I agree with you. Right. And here's the kicker. The question to all of you do you know anyone with asthma in your life right do you know anyone with asthma in your life one of the most horrendous things that you will ever witness is someone having an asthma attack where they can't breathe so they're suffocating they can't do if you've ever witnessed this you know what respiratory failure to a certain degree is like it is a horrendous way to end this ride right so be smart don't show how foolish or youthful you are because you haven't experienced traumatic things in this world Right. I think COVID is a government incident gone wrong. Someone is going to blame. Uh, someone's going to be blamed when the dust settles. Martin mentions. I agree. Is it going to be a patsy? Is it going to be a scapegoat? Or are we going to find the truth?
Hannah says, look, I believe it's serious, but at what point do we go back to how life was? Hannah, straight up, straight up. When I say this is the equivalent of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, appreciate this. Life is not going to go back to the way it was. It, it's not. Not for a few years, okay? Not for a few years. Really appreciate that, Hannah. Okay, think about what that means. How many people are going to go to a movie theater when the movie theaters open up? Are you going to go? Are the number of people getting on flights going to be the same? I heard cruise sales are up. That's what I heard. I don't know if I believe it. Hannah, I personally don't think this is going to go away. Right now, we're buying time to try to understand what's happening. When there's a storm coming through, bunker down. Microchips, vaccines, yeah, for sure. Bill Gates, Bill Gates Foundation, right? Have you heard about uh, Thomas um, saying, have you heard about, heard anything about Mike, uh, microchips vaccines microsoft yeah for sure i mean who hasn't i have more toilet paper yes me <laughs> great name hannah okay hannah this is what you're saying do we stay home do we stay inside the rest of our lives why so dramatic <laughs> why so dramatic today Tomorrow doesn't mean the rest of your life. A week, a month doesn't mean the rest of your life. Give the system, the healthcare system, enough time to figure it out, right? You're being dramatic, Hannah. Cage made it like 10 minutes. He made it like Van Padre. Always be making, I think, took care of that, right? Oh, Hannah, you're being so dramatic. I'm going to scroll down. I'm Palestinian in origin. Silb. Silb S. You're Palestinian in origin. So I'm going to read. I'm Palestinian in origin. And you can't believe how ignorant the Western society is about the situation in the Middle East. For sure, I can't. Uh, si simple things such as ISIS has killed tenfolds of Muslims and Arabs compared to any other. For those whom... Uh, whom are irritated about COVID realize others have been in a battle zone for ten, tens of years, and it's not because your more your moral is better than theirs. It's because your gun is bigger than theirs. <laughs> VC happy four twenty. Is it happy four? Oh, you just went uh, 12, uh, 12 o'clock. Happy four twenty, brother happy 420 i think it's going to be uh hanged around someone's neck probably an innocent man group i think so too martin i think so too they might even justify going to war because of this right here okay hannah here's the thing right i'm gonna read read this comment of yours well i don't know if i'm if i'm gonna make it i may go from depression i am badly depressed from being <coughs> from being locked up so the issue cry for four hours good crying is a good thing hannah okay here's the thing what you were saying was you're using COVID. this this suggestion of physical distancing as the enemy right don't do that you have to ask yourself why are you feeling down why did you cry for four hours did you cry for four hours because you couldn't go outside or did you cry for four hours because by not being able to go outside you realize that there's something seriously wrong either with our society with our political system with our economic system with you personally in your relationships 
why did you cry for four hours did you cry for four hours because there are people dying around the world or did you cry for four hours because you can't go outside what was the cause what is the cause of your anxiety your depression of you feeling bad to a level where you had to cry for four hours okay i can bet you it's not because you couldn't go outside for four hours or you can go outside for a walk or you can you felt bad about going outside this pressure you go outside right now go shopping in a grocery store the experience is pretty depressing all right so going outside is not going to cure your depression why is that happening okay serious question man saucy rossi hey chicho just got a cold glass of pomegranate juice to enjoy the stream nice nice i got myself some elderberry liqueur thank you always be making always be making to hannah let's chat in the discord there are ways around this friend cabin fever will break and nothing lasts forever and nothing lasts forever seriously hannah here comes the death to israel comment where who someone kill it no hannah no one said that no one said that you know i don't feel that way anyway what zero to 60 quickly what happened i'm missing something chicho going after hannah no i'm not going after hannah i'm questioning the motive or the 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 cause of people's anxiety is it because they can't go outside is it because all of a sudden everyone's realizing the economic system is so damn fragile that a week two weeks three weeks of it slowing down taking your foot off the gas is about to break the whole system and it has broken the whole system right this is the economic system that people are willing to put their heart and energy into right it's like whenever you go to sit in your car turn on the car you put your foot on a foot, uh, pedal to the metal you floor it everywhere right you do that to i don't care what kind of a car it is what a safety rec record is how well it's made you do that for a year you put your put the pedal to the metal everywhere you go a year you won't even last a year why are we allowing our economic system to function in this way right how come our healthcare systems weren't given a little bit of a lean way right why were they being run at a hundred hundred and twenty hundred and fifty percent capacity for wall street god dang it really that's 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 the insanity that people are trying to protect that that is getting people anxious and depressed that they want to go back to work because they want this thing to continue okay i know it's not because people have bills to pay and stuff like this right but why does nobody has have, have a buffer oh maybe we were doing what wall street that the corporations were doing this thing goes down the whole economic system goes down for a week for two weeks for three weeks and you got multinational corporations on wall street that are worth hundreds of billions of dollars getting handouts right interest-free loans guaranteed deposited in their bank accounts almost instantly and you as an individual the checks in the mail so what's to blame how is it possible that people are willing to go demonstrate to say the lockdown is the enemy the suggested quarantine self-quarantine is the enemy and it's not wall street that's the enemy it's not the economic system that's the enemy that is the key here right there's a lot of misinformation disinformation out there people are being tricked into joining causes which are distractions saucy rossi you join an interesting point i honestly feel this pandemic has demonstrated two things how separated we have become as a community and how weak we've become I, toilet paper i don't disagree with you there we haven't experienced anything in the same league as what our great 
grandparents had to endure during World War II. I think we all need to take our social silver spoon out of our mouths and realize we have a duty to one another. Wake up, wake up. Agreed, 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 right? And slowly, once the dust settles on this, once the storm passes, at least this first wave of it anyway, we need to really re reevaluate our, our state of being, where we're putting money in. We've had a lot of people come in and say, hey, is it a good time to buy stocks? Uh, <laughs> this, is the, this, this is the system you want to invest in, right? My reply was, yeah, there's certain companies if you want to play that game, there's a good time to invest in them. Or you could find a community garden and grow food, right? F start stabilizing your communities, that they become anti-fragile and they're not being taken down when centralized institutions say, hey, no more supply chain, right? Oh, you can't get your uh, food trucks coming in to deliver to your grocery stores so you can go buy processed food what how come every city doesn't have fruit trees growing all around it right to feed its populace at least right why aren't there safety nets within our societies why have people decided to rely on corporations that couldn't give a rat's ass about you as their safety net that is insanity to me yeah saucy rossi lonely piggy chicho i'm sure you went over this already but what snacks are you having tonight i'm having uh, almonds and walnuts okay fantastic oils fantastic minerals great source of protein and walnuts are good for the brain that's what i've been told <laughs> i got tea and I have a uh, elderberry liqueur chicho I cry today because I can't do the things I love I can't coach baseball can't play foot uh, softball can't do the gym anymore um, can't hang out with friends in person can't go camping can't fit Hannah I agree with you I can't do a lot of things that I love as well I love you chicho great discussion no hard feel no no hard feelings brother of course you know me well enough to know that if i'm being hard i'm being hard for a reason right and that's just the way i go sometimes i go hard sometimes I go soft it's just my mood as well right can't go swimming this summer can't go on hannah you should be able to go swimming this summer not in a pool i'm pretty sure the pools will be closed can't go on my once a year vacation hannah I've mentioned this before and you know this the summers for me are festival season it's when I go to festivals and release and dance and get rid of the lot of the tension that I've that I've built up over the year right and I can't do that this year okay however I'm old enough to know that if I can't do one thing I have to fill that void with something productive on the tail end right so what you have to do right now is start thinking about and by the way hannah this is a great 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 amazing opportunity for disruptive innovation to hit the scene right so you love sports you've said this before you love coaching you love teaching you love the games you love all aspects of it right i know you go to a camp and teach there at a camp hannah get online right about teaching softball teaching uh what was the other stuff uh, baseball right write about it explain to people what you do your strategy for coaching make videos on this this is going to fill the void that you have because hannah the issue you're having right now is the issue that millions tens of millions of people are having around the globe right we've spent our lives we've been convinced program brainwashed to spend our spend our lives in doing right do your homework go to school do this pa 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 right we need to adjust we need to slow down because our current political economic system has been based on going full throttle as we talk right go 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 right 
slow down, take time, think about what's going on, and most importantly, realize that we are creative creatures. We need to share, right? There are different ways we share. 100% right by coaching you share doing all the stuff you share right but think of different ways where you can share information contribute to society help people out interact with others right so right now you're dealing with loss right that's by the way take everything I said with a grain of salt please <laughs> I'm just I'm just we're talking as friends right uh, so this is not coming from any place that's uh, official right but what you're dealing with right now the depression the cry you're dealing with loss right first of all realize that this isn't a permanent loss and it's not right it's a delay in you being able to do what you want what you love right so don't think of think of it as a complete loss it's not a loved one you've buried right it's a loss temporary loss okay and take that pain that you're feeling right now and try to use it productively to see how you can get out of this rut that you're in and still do some of the things that you love really the opportunities there hannah it front and loaded it's going to take work dude and i know you're not you don't mind hard work right Put the work in if you don't know how to edit video learn how to edit video if you don't know how to shoot video learn how to shoot video if you don't know how to write a blog uh create a blog learn how to create a blog and it's easy you can learn in a day right if you need some you can learn some html code that'll take you another week if you don't know how to write god dang it spend the time to learn how to write you have to acquire the tools right now and this is you're not the only one dealing with this by the way hannah there are tens of millions of people around the globe right now as you said it i think hannah where you said when are we going to go back to the way things were the way are not the, things are not going to go back to the way they were there's going to be tens of millions of people if not hundreds of millions of people that are about to rethink their lives the way they interact with society the way they their economics their personal finance is structured do it now okay it's gonna take work that's one reason i said education is an amazing space to be in right now there's there's hundreds of millions of people coming online right now that need to acquire tools to be able to readjust their lives is that cool i'm gonna scroll all the way down gang if there's anything directed towards me please let me know uh i'll read the ones that are directed to lord cuddly chicho chicho appears to be a pretty uh significant astroturfing campaign to get people out and protesting about the about the lockdowns nice way to get people pointed at the right uh target i link something about it in this course yeah uh lord cuddly for sure there are certain organizations that are battling each other centralized institutions organizations powers that are battling each other don't be cannon father for them think for yourself right wrong target wrong target yeah they're being distracted right don't take your eyes on the pro off the prize people uh, this is serious stuff going around I want to scroll, 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 scroll. Thank you, Lord Cuddly. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. And by the way, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, gang. Uh, sorry if I, I've missed. Uh, I've missed them. Um, I do appreciate them. I'm gonna scroll, scroll, scroll. A lot of discussion taking place. Chicho. There is a very sad African kid that just received a uh, full plate of food for the first time since weeks, but he pushed it away and started crying loudly because they told him Hannah can't go to the swimming pool. Go on. <laughs> no, so no, everybody look, uh, Silb. Nobody's pain is worse than someone else's when they're in. It's 
internalized in big way right everybody has the right to suffer everybody has the right to suffer that's one thing that we're missing in our societies right people don't realize that there's suffering going on around the world because certain people are appreciating certain benefits that they're getting they don't associate the suffering over here right but i know personally people that are very poor that are suffering and i know people that are very rich that are suffering for different reasons for different causes everybody's pain is intense everybody's there are, if it wasn't you wouldn't find multi-millionaires committing suicide right you wouldn't find it okay there's a lot of people that according to some have an amazing life that end their own lives because they're living in misery right so i know what you're trying to say that put things into perspective and whatnot but we can't lessen people's suffering we really can't uh, there's a lot of pain going around what we can do is help each other out empower each other make people realize that this isn't the end the centralized institutions powers want you to think that everything's imminent immediate instantaneous it must be done now do 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 bells ringing go to your next class hand in this assignment come on come on come on you're going to be graded oh you're competing against the other people all that is bs all that is bs okay all of it is bs okay we have a really good opportunity available to us right now to restructure if not society our communities our own lives we need to be aware of what's what's happening the other is not the enemy okay never okay power capital is where we have to focus our energies on which goes back to wikileaks wikileaks is the only institution powerful enough and and dedicated enough to hold power accountable while sacrificing themselves for it look at look at what they're doing to julian assange why are they doing it because they're holding power accountable they want transparency they want to empower us vex how are you doing nice to see you brother nice to see you salutations rio i'm gonna scroll down okay i'm all the way down to the bottom gang okay i know i missed a lot of uh chat but uh, hannah what changes do i want society to make uh hold power accountable right wikileaks should be put on a pedestal julian assange should be freed right we should not be bailing out wall street huge huge right we should hold power accountable we should hold war criminals accountable what i would like to see i would like to see us go back in the last 20 years and we've done this right we prosecuted war criminals in world war ii for decades later right we need to go back let's say to the beginning of the century let's go to 2000 and prosecute war criminals really put them on trial televise the whole thing and we're not talking about the soldiers we're talking about the power right what an amazing change shift in our just consciousness is gonna take place right i might be a little older than most here but my motto is quote pain is so close to pleasure yeah end quote and you can use your pain to make you stronger or at the very least happy if used correctly martin fantastic so martin i'm going to read martin's or uh comment again i might be a little older than most here but my motto is pain is so close to pleasure end quote and you can use your pain to make you stronger or at the very least happy if used correctly and i fully 100 percent agree with mark what martin said here coolio i'm just disheartened by people who want things to go back to how they were before that's why we're in the situation we're in 
I want to come out of this into a new world. Coolio, I'm 100% with you on this, right? But I can't see society doing that peacefully. I can see it doing it peacefully. And it's not going to happen overnight. This is this is growing pains, as always being said, I have mentioned before. This is growing pains. It's not going to be easy, right? It's not going to be easy. But we're, we're going to, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of people are going to come out of this a lot stronger emotionally mentally spiritually intellectually right actually prosecute hillary i agree with you what they did to libya is 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 unbelievable really in a target rich environment that's who you pick uh lord cutley 100 percent. the clintons the obamas the bushes the trumps war criminals okay pain is the touchstone of all growth pain is the touchstone of all growth well said Ch -ch 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 -ch. say it louder for the people on the back chicho holding who's <laughs> i'm not sure what i said <laughs> tell that to the families of the four men who lost their lives in benghazi what about the libyans what about the syrians okay four is the tip of the iceberg tip of the iceberg okay well if we're talking scale four is pretty low yeah not according to the four though yep been watching your youtube lately falling asleep to them thanks for the content my pleasure maddie <laughs> i'm glad you made it to a live stream exactly that whole thing started a very mid mid east chaos yeah insanity right people have to look at libya a lot closely a lot more close uh, uh closer right what took place in libya is unbelievable right thoughts on some areas like florida opening up and people flocking to beaches mm. i don't know i don't know if they're all getting going on to the beach and all of them sitting like really tight close together and doing a barbecue and sharing drinks I don't know i don't think that's what they're doing right if you're going to the beach and you're going to a beach that you're solo right or with your loved one that you're in the house with the people you interact with constantly then go to the beach right but if you're going to a beach to party and you know boogie and take your clothes off get all sweaty with people and stuff i think that's ridiculous <laughs> there's levels to things right i'm okay with going into the forest and going for walks and going to the beach and going for walks right Pe just have to be aware the the kicker is there's dum dums out there and the reason there's dum dums out there is because of our centralized education systems right our centralized education system creates dum dums really it, it, there's no there's no doubt about it the our, our education system they create people who are completely disconnected with reality we have to change that okay the situation is weird though because i was caught up totally in self-improvement so i could learn and help others but this situation came around and changed how i have to go about all that yeah coolio for sure this hour has been heavy this hour has been heavy it's only been an hour holy camoles martin i need i need i need a refill I'll always be making i always i definitely plan to come out of this in a better place professionally philosophically than when we came came in i'm doing a lot of growth and spreading out divesting my career across line uh, online 100 always be making and it's a long road and it's a lifestyle and that's the kicker right a lot of people ask me what can you do personally divest from them divest from what they're selling don't buy their crap don't invest in their systems if you can help it right so what does that entail don't buy processed food from multinational corporations that you don't know where the food comes in from right i spider-man's gonna hate me on this right 
But I don't go to Walt Disney movies or movies from these mega corporations that pay theater workers nothing, pay theaters, hold theaters hostage, right? It's insane, right? Um, there's so many ways don't buy stocks in Wall Street look into your community to see where you can invest your money and your resources and if you lack certain abilities educate yourself that's gonna go a lot lot further than you buying shares in Microsoft like holy cow right good vibes to all great discussion good vibes Maddie <laughs> intense I know where I'm going on vacation this summer. Where are you going, Hannah? Making love on the beach. Awesome. Like, we live, Hannah, you live in a place, and me as well, where there's lots of islands around us, right? Go buy a canoe or a paddle boat or something. Grab your significant other. Row to one of these islands where there's a little rock, little area. Have some picnic. Have some get some vitamin d all over your body why not right doesn't mean it's not possible just an adjustment but it's so frustrating that this happened right when things were finally on the upswing. yeah coolio you and millions of others right i hope to have a uh, to have a library like this one there nice maddie i built this thing i wasn't live streaming then so if I was, I would have probably live streamed that. Maybe. It took me a few days. Spider-Man. Chicho, I made you a mod, but don't feel like you have to mod or have to watch. I know you're a very ah on your on your thing. I'll I'm gonna try to be there, brother. I had some I had to one student wanted to have a session at the time when you're live streaming. I told him, oh, let's do it another day. Uh we'll see i'll try to make it for sure students though i've said this before my students come first right absurd account chicho perhaps in this time of staying inside we should do a stream to share what music movies books comics etc we're uh taking in maybe we could uh, go through your record collection or your movie collection uh, absurd account i plan on uh, making a video maybe this week right uh of my mp3 player to let you guys know what i've been listening to okay and it's an mp3 player i know mp3 player oh my god guys <laughs> i have a, like a little mp3 player that i bought like i don't know how long ago 10 years ago is four gigs and i switch things up so i want to go through that and i have an area where i have books that i've been meaning to make but there's so much stuff i've been meaning to do i just have to make the time so someone asked me earlier bored i'm f anything but bored right chicho uh the bush's family specifically is very interesting they started with an oil company and merged with another one called spectrum seven and they became the head of it and they faced a big scandal for abusing power very early on yeah and prescott bush george bush's senior father i mean if we're talking about world war ii he was supplying uh nazi germany with equipment and stuff until they told him hey what the hell right people react to crisis in different ways i don't hate you for that I think Disney is a disgusting garbage company. Uh, Spider-Man, I agree. Horrendous, right? And people are like, Disney Plus, I got Disney Plus. I'm going, you're an idiot. <laughs> you got Disney Plus. You put your kids in front of Disney Plus? You're, you're a double idiot. Oh, not only that, your kids are going to be idiots. You put your kids in front of the Disney Plus channel and let that bombard them. You're going to have a handful, man. I feel like one of the best things people could uh, be doing right now is learning how to garden 100%. Lord Cudley, 100% I agree with you. Right? Grow. It like people people uh, 
you know, have commented on the number of plants I have in my, in my house, right? I didn't have a green thumb before. I had to learn, right? It took me a lot of tries to learn how to take care of plants. And I'm a better human being for it. I highly recommend. I highly recommend. I'm going to scroll down, gang. Uh, let's see if there's anything directed. Chicho. Uh, bro. MPL's bro. Chicho. I got uh, stimulus money from the U.S. government, but I don't need it. Where would you recommend I donate it to help others? Uh, brother. Uh, do you have any friends relatives you 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 know or sister of course that are hurting uh, I would say give it to them directly right I, I don't give it to any institutions no institutions really not the who not this not that who do you know directly that needs those funds right if you don't know support content creators that you enjoy online like really independent creators right people who are just coming online trying to find their voice maybe right oh wow chat kicked me up all the way to the top again i'm scrolling down gang chicho Simple. I would rather find my kid watching porn, <laughs> watching a Disney movie instead of Japanese anime. Ghibli Studio is the way to teach them good more. One hundred percent, right? Like, by the way, this is from someone that watches the Marvel movies, right? I've watched all of them that have come out. I hate some of them. They're pure propaganda. There's so much military industrial complex in the disney marvel movies it's insane but i'm used to that because i'm a comic book collector i have seen comic book used for propaganda for selling war forever right kidneys over there's the other percent the bane of existence right but i like for me i i just uploaded 17 live streams we had uh monopoly live streams we did with my cousins over a weekend in 2018 onto youtube i lost like so far i'm i lost like 60 70 subscribers by loading those on right i guess people didn't like monopoly live streams being loaded on a chicho channel so they they jump ship right those cousins that you saw there all of them when they were anywhere between four years old to teens okay i would have movie night at chicho's place for a number of years every month or every week for a number of years we did this they would come over and i would show them movies i showed them studio ghibli i showed them shaw brothers if you know your shaw brothers one of the movies that they still talk about and this was when they were four five six years old kids i showed them cripple masters one and two okay show them international movies disney my god why would you allow an institution like that to indoctrinate your children to to control their lives there's so much amazing stuff out there, right? Uh, Absurdicon, Chicho, I agree that Disney is a disgusting corporation, but where do you draw the line on hating Disney? For example, I am a Star Wars fan. What if I want to watch the Mandalorian or the Clone Wars? Should I pirate them? That's unfair to the creators. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree that it's unfair to the creators okay and i've watched the mandalorian okay the the best part and you you guys might hate me on this the best part of the mandalorian is the end credits where they show the concept artwork that's the best part of the mandalorian okay visually it's okay the dialogue is ridiculous the situation that the people get in is ridiculous
ridiculous is geared towards a nine-year-old a 10 year old intellect that has been watching Disney Plus for 10 years, right? Like, one, I'll give you one example. When the Mandalorian meets that robot assassin, right? Or the bounty hunters, when they're in one of the episodes, will the, will the robot guy shooting everyone, killing everyone? Mandalorian runs out, out of hiding, and goes, hey, runs towards them. You're telling me that's that that mandalorian is considered to be the one of the best warriors in the world where he's running out running towards an assassin robot that is shooting everything killing everybody to say hey i'm a friend okay like i i don't even know if a 10 year old will believe that bs right that's the level of intelligence of disney plus do people pay for that and star wars have you watched the most recent star wars movies oh my god all right i've heard the comic books are better all right no when a company like disney okay god are we gonna are we gonna load this on youtube when a company like disney is regular using regulatory capture to take over your governments and increase copyright laws so stuff that's supposed to come into the public domain never comes into the public domain when a company like disney takes away your freedom you have no obligation to them period end of story or to people that work for them period end of story right these corporations are ruling over us right now why do you think we should give them your funds your energy your resources why should we put our children to be indoctrinated by them right why tell me because we don't want to become them because two wrongs don't make a right because it'll change at some point as you can tell i got a pretty strong opinion about this right absurdicon chicho live that's a very good question i hope i answered it in this chaos how to be as close as possible to getting the right information uh bs20 is that a question chicho in this chaos how to be as close as possible to getting the right information um vx it for anyone that's just opening their eyes and seeing what's happening you're gonna to have to filter through a lot of crap to be able to make your way through it it's, it's a long process don't be in a rush don't jump to conclusions don't put your life and soul and your funds and your energy into one concept appreciate that there's a lot of things going on everything's interconnected and take your time don't be a reactionary realize if you're just realizing that things are not exactly what they seem really appreciate that there's a lot more going on that you might even just be just the tip of the iceberg and appreciate that you've been indoctrinated for a number of years your eyes have been closed your ears shut right you weren't allowed to speak and slowly come out of that and break those dogmas that have been implanted in you hello mr hezekiah how are you doing i'm gonna scroll down always be making likely the mandalorian was designed to sell in china like marvel movies and video games china is the biggest cash cow for western media companies if you've ever wondered why all marvel movies have to do with the concept of family that's the only value that is allowed to be explored in china and there's a lot of indoctrination within our communities it's not just that they're trying to gear it to be exported to china i i understand that always be making but they're also government advisors and cia is what do you call it advisors in hollywood like everybody knows that now like if you don't know that then the holy camoles you've been hiding on their like hello <laughs> right this can't go on youtube okay this is bit shoot exclusive 
thanks martin i need i need a second pair of eyes and ears to tell me this stuff right because i do want this information to go out but we are getting dinged on youtube there's no doubt about it right so as well as the google overload sweeping in the demonetize I, i'm not worried about demonetization coolio when i load stuff on youtube i'm not worried about being demonetized because i load stuff on that gets demonetized right i'm more concerned about being deplatformed right them kicking us off if they kick us off then that sucks right so demonetization i'm not worried about sure it hurts me and it has hurt me <laughs> the youtube you could you could graph the youtube revenue i sort of had the business model okay youtube just growing at this all of a sudden it went doop, right so they kicked them platforms i'm not the only one there's a lot of other creators that have done that right that have felt the pain of the demonetization but for me the hell with demon demonetization right uh i'm not worried about the demonetization it's the censorship that i care about right the depiction of arabian muslim culture in uh aladdin is pure it's all brainwashing right yikes we had some trolls thank you for very much for always be making taking care of business oh there was a reference to a bad thing always be making got it nice i agree 100 percent with every single thing you say chicho i love spider-man but i just love marvel movies so much so i'm sorry i agree with you right and i believe it or not i actually paid to i think it wasn't a marvel movie it was uh, aquaman but i went and saw aquaman in a the theater right because the people I were I was with, they really wanted to see a 3D movie. So I broke my boycott of these huge conglomerates for that. Because sometimes you need to do that, right? Uh, you're with loved ones. They want they want to see something. They want to do something. You do it, right? But be aware of it, Chicho. Since this isn't going on YouTube, do you mark stuff as ASMR on YouTube to avoid YouTube's filters so that they don't delete your channel? That's a, no. I mark it as ASMR because I consider my work to be ASMR, right? I don't do role play ASMR. I don't do, you know, I do some of that. I've done some of that, the sound stuff. I do the eating ASMR. But my thing is educational ASMR. I want to keep it chill. I'm not yelling. I'm keeping a certain voice. Even though I, it seems like I'm going hard, I'm not i'm not really going hard i'm not being aggressive about my my take on things right so i don't mark it as asmr to bypass the sensors bypass the filters right i mark it as asmr because i consider this to be asmr i wish there was more asmr like this really i listen one of the reasons uh i love lectures so much like i would listen to a lot of lectures a lot of interviews a lot of discussion is because a lot of that to me is asmr i can't explain to you so like there's a lot of people that go to sleep to my videos and stuff like that right a lot of this talk that i'm doing right now i've got a lot of i, I don't know how much feedback tons of feedback oh i listen to the, i go to sleep thank you very much i also do the same thing with other people's lectures and talks and discussions right so to me this is asmr asmr to me is keeping it chill keeping it real uh, relax calm get rid of the anxiety your voice is so chill you could explain religion to the devil and you would accept it uh, i don't know if you would or not man man bloodshot gets me mad every time i watch it yeah i've watched it once and yeah aquam was average and bloodshot was disappointing I put Chicho in the same category as Bob Ross for ASMR. Legit content that happens to be relaxing. Yeah, like Bob Ross didn't know about ASMR. He's just creating relaxing content. That's the way I look at my work. I just want to calm it, chill it. There's too much anxiety in the world, right? I never compromise on my principles generally. When I make a decision, it's pretty much locked in. Nice, Martin yeah i i've had to bend sometimes because i'm wrong sometimes and sometimes oh man i locked it in i shouldn't have locked it in i shouldn't have locked it in i regret regrets but regrets are if we are who we are and we're happy with who we are and that's part of who we are 
right that's brought us here funny you say that you show i found your shaving video in 2009 and it gave me asmr and then i found you again and you're an asmr creator thank you spider-man that's the way i like to look at it personally Laura Cully, your the first comic book video. Nice. Did you ever, Coolio, did you ever go back, go into the backstory of your profile pic photo? Mm. On Twitch? That's one that Casey Law made for us. And Casey Law, he used to be a mod here. And he used to come to our... Uh, discussions and stuff and he was a mod on discord as well he helped out a lot like he created the emotes that we use and he contacted me and said oh i can make you a banner and he made a banner for me and stuff like this or for us i guess so he did a lot of work in the back end uh to get me up and running on discord and uh, and twitch and i appreciate that very much uh, but he's no longer with us he he decided that he didn't you know he needed to take break and he got me to a level where uh we were set right and he sent me a message saying chicho listen uh thank you for the stuff and i told him thank you very much i appreciate him and i said look whenever you want to come back you let me know you're in like flynn right but i think he just got busy with things and uh the political discussions weren't his thing right uh he really liked the comic book stuff the food stuff and just the non-politics and economic stuff and for me i saw things kicking into you know i mentioned this two years ago or a year and a half ago i guess when we got into the politics economics i was looking at data and i saw things going in a certain direction i knew that i couldn't just sit idly by and not talk about it and warn people so a year and a half ago we started talking about heavy into the current events and stuff like this because i saw things unfolding to where we are now uh, you could just see something big coming right it was just the same way as 9 11 you could see something big coming we didn't know what it was it happened to me 9 11 a couple of years ago two three three years ago i looked at the data and i saw something big coming I'm not 100 percent sure what it is but i have to discuss it right and i decided to do it on a live stream instead of writing about it this time and in 2006, I did the same thing with the two, the 2008 financial crafts, uh, collapse, crisis, scam, right? So tangent backstory, uh, it was someone that used to be a mod here and on Discord as well. He helped us, helped us a lot, helped us out a lot, right? Uh, invaluable, and uh, I thank him very much for that. Absurdicon, interesting. I agree that this is a super relaxing content, but I would say it's mentally stimulating for me as well. And there's a nice balance to your content, and I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Awesome, Absurdicon. Yeah, and I, for me, some of the most, some of the times that I've been the most relaxed is when I've been the most mentally stimulated, right? When I'm watching lecture series of some of the great mathematicians and physicists. You become relaxed you can absorb the information a lot better <laughs> that's awesome chicho's comments literally bring me so much happiness awesome spider-man remember that part where uh, nicole kidman is all under the waves you can't feel your tears and then jason momoa's dad is all up here you feel all of them oh <laughs> always been making the more videos we have from authentic people talking about things they are passionate about the world is made a better a, a bit better place always be making a hundred percent agree authenticity authenticity is the name of the game as far as i'm concerned when i decided to blog back in 2000 and start blogging back in 2005 and make videos in 2007 and stuff like this i made a promise to myself that it was going to be authentic right i wasn't here to play games i wasn't here just to create one type of content because i am more than the one type of content i am more than just the mathematics the politics the economics the comics 
Even though people said, no, Chicho, you have to focus. I said, the hell with focus. I'm here to share what I love. I want to act as a node, right? To share information, right? And I'm going to do the best of my abilities. That's it. Okay. And I think that's the business model that is going to be the most successful for the years to come. Authenticity. Because there's so much crap out there, programming out there. For example, YouTube's automation is kicking into full gear, right? They're giving me as a creator options to have automatic replies to certain comments. Okay. I'm also seeing automated comments pop up up the yin yang now on YouTube, right? Automated promotion, promoting automated, demoting automated. And by the way, it's it's a problem for YouTube. And they know this because they just recently introduced a new level of loading on videos where you rate your videos right if it's sensitive if it's not sensitive it's this it's this it's that it's whatever right and then the more that you're uh rate the more videos you rate and the more accurate you are the more weight they give to your contribution your rating of it right so they've realized that hey their automation sucks ass right it's kicking off videos that shouldn't be kicked off it's demoting things that shouldn't be demoted is demonetizing things that shouldn't be demonetized it's kicking things up that shouldn't be kicked up it, they know it's crap so now they're rolling out this thing that they're giving creators a certain amount of i guess trust factor right now why in the world they're not going back and saying oh there's been creators that have been creating content for 12 years 14 years on youtube that we should pretty much trust what they're creating because they've been on here for 14 years and their content is legit right but they're not doing that they're rolling this in now because they've already purged a lot of content that they didn't want on youtube unfortunately right so there's a lot going on gang a lot going on subject that prevented you from uploading no it's okay so uh Silb is saying i'm sorry if i mentioned subject that prevented you from uploading this to youtube like they would uh, seriously take the vid down if you uploaded it I, I don't know if they would or not right and tell you the truth if i'm if bitshoot is not able to process this video then i'll have no choice than to upload it to youtube right so we'll call this a youtube bitshoot exclusive but I, I'm having a hard time uploading the last three live streams we had onto BitChute. It's just not processing it. I've tried, like the comic book one, I've tried like 10 times now. The fit, uh, the uh, mental health one, I've tried like 10 times now. It's just not doing it. Um, we'll see if it does it for this one. If it doesn't, it's going on YouTube. So be it. Okay. Programming or smarts is a hidden gem programming asmr yeah i wish i knew programming i don't or if i had the time to uh, learn it i feel like i'm walking the same road as you yeah I'll always be making i think all educators will have to all educators will have to if they want to remain independent i scrolled all the way down gang uh, spider-man absolute truth youtube has destroyed themselves with garbage guidelines and principles yeah I really enjoy your liqueur and 10 by 10 videos. Nice. The cliff jumping one is a favorite as well. I gotta do that one. I promised someone I'm gonna do it this summer. So I'm gonna try it, try to get that done this summer. Okay. Martin, speak the truth even if it leads to your death. Yeah. I blame Chicho for the eight or nine mason jars on my kitchen counter right now nice lord Kali, what do you got is it liqueurs or something else cliff jumping videos were awesome those were some of my first chicho videos i watched nice coolio hey mine are in my cupboard ah uh, nice <laughs> i guess i should be getting kickbacks from mason jar makers <laughs> make liqueurs lord Kali liqueur are you enjoying them are you are you drinking uh, are you uh, sharing with family and friends do they like 
yeah when i go to the grocery store this week i'm heavily considering getting some fruit and vodka to make liqueur nice coolio you won't go back it's amazing i really need to throw the gava away oh really the gava wasn't good mr hezakai the gava wasn't good keep it someone you know might like it we all know chicho got famous from raccoons fighting in a tree i know i'm crazy after a certain point you realize that there is a meaningless to just live in lies agreed brother yeah it's so repulsive other than that i love them is it is it repulsive <laughs> the gamma liqueur i'll stay away from it thank you for the heads up i asked for clips of part two but oh did you martin is it you okay it's, people have been asking me man people have been asking i gotta do i gotta do have you seen much about uh abrupt irreversible climate change paul beckwith from university of ontario has a youtube channel with lots of good info if you haven't seen seen much i i know i, I know f a lot about climate change uh rio uh rukio i did 10 years of environmental work right in the 90s a geophysicist i know the the just destruction we've done to the environment just because i've mapped out a lot of contaminant plumes and guard landfills and oil and gas spills and all this jazz like i've done a lot of that and military stuff i've done and so i know what we've done to the environment um it's not good it, it's horrendous right having some pineapple right nice they do like and won't leave me alone ah your friends and i <laughs> some more liqueurs <laughs> pineapple is a serious hit people love the pineapple have you considered the uh, yeah, D tube. I think it's D tube. Is D tube is a blockchain one that's linked up with cryptocurrencies, right? I created an account and I linked, did some stuff, but then when I went back to try to upload it, I lost, I lost my password, and then I try to reset it, and it says my phone already has an account and I can't restore it, and I just couldn't do it. It was, and then I went on the forums trying to ask, you know, how do I reset this thing, like? they made it so hard for me someone that's been online since like late 1980s like how do i reset this thing they're like oh you'll have to get a new phone number i'm like are you guys kidding me i need to get a new phone number to reset the password i said the hell with it i can't do it that's step way too far way too difficult i think anyway it was d2 question for you about your liqueurs do i need to use mason jars with the uh, sealed no or could i reuse something like pickle jar i've used pickle jars as well how uh, how all airtight do the jars have to be the pickle jars are airtight enough the pomegranate one i made in a big pickle jar but now i recently transferred it over to a mason jar right and i have jars that are just uh other alcohol jars that i have stuff in uh, but in general you do want it to be sealed enough okay but it doesn't have to be mason jars no hold on who's chicho have you heard of operation yeah, mockingbird operation mockingbird for sure in the 1950s the cia influenced what was in the media yeah and uh clip clipboard there's a lot of names that they have for sure they planted their own people in corporate mainstream propagandas newspapers tv stations look at uh i don't watch these people one there's a couple two or three people that are actually cia they work for cia now they're uh what's his name i don't know i mean i just see him uh, hit my radar every now and then when people talk about what's what's the guy's name he had a twin brother and twin brother died when he was younger when he was a kid uh he worked for the cia like he went through cia training and he's one of the main talking heads i <laughs> won't listen to that crap <laughs> seriously so you said we were going to kick things up into high gear what exactly does that entail i imagine a network of content creators but that's just me chicho always be making sure it could be a network of content creators and stuff like this um for me i need to 
like you know as you know always man i i'm decentralizing i need to set up the third platform okay uh video thing going on there's a few other things i have in the background that i need to do okay um i need to make my first math module okay um and the first math math module for me for me to kick things into high gear is through the community with you guys i'll lend a hand as much as i can uh cooperative work for sure you know if we could do uh, i'll keep on doing what i what i do man uh i think that's providing an outlet a space for people to be able to roll out their own projects uh, i hope so anyway I'll always be making right so i'm sort of acting as a node where people can express themselves freely so that to me is important extremely important but one of the things i need to do i need to create my math module to generate another revenue stream coming in the first math module i'm going to create i believe anyway i'm pretty sure it's going to be the uh, early childhood education one so i need to put together the subtraction and division one and create the exercises and solutions and put it all together that's going to take me a while and i do need funding for that like it takes energy uh, you know time to do that right but i'll try my best it's just going to be delayed if uh, you know i'll do i'll go at the pace i can brother chicho when is pomegranate season well i missed the pomegranate season i love those eating i know spider-man i was sick i couldn't load up on the pomegranates by the time i came out of the six weeks of being sick what was it uh pomegranates were gone chicho your quality uh your quality will 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 be known among your advertisers long before you meet them your quality will will be known among your advertisers long before you meet them possibly anderson cooper yeah that schmuck worked in the cia briefly yeah george clooney george clooney oh god richard is anderson cooper i was thinking about and george clooney hollywood just rots stinks ways to invest locally for a profit for a profit uh go buy you stuff refurbish them and sell them i don't know how viable that is right now uh you could do that uh start tutoring uh and what what do you mean by profit money fiat currency or stabilizing the community i meant to ask you uh mr hezekiah uh i've been getting a really odd aftertaste with some of my liqueurs the only thing different that i can tell is you use organic sugar mm, what kind of an aftertaste like a lingering i don't get any specific type of aftertaste the flavors i get are basically the fruit based flavors that i have but you're using you think kava <laughs> it's not very good uh, i would recommend using organic sugar cane sugar specifically uh, i haven't used i can't remember the last time was that i used processed white sugar so i i don't know on that aspect is it are they are they sealed enough so oxygen is not playing are you uh make sure you're not keeping them in a place where there's a heat vent heat duct going so they're constantly being heated so you don't want them to be you want them to be like room temperature right or i keep them in a place where it's like room temperature i make sure they're not in a closet where there's a heat vent going right a very smart marketing move happened in the past in the middle east palestine jordan lebanon and syria area the company of an orange based drink called miranda or something uh, like that widening the opening of the bottle to kill all competition because it was used by the mothers of the children to make pickles from cucumbers no way brilliant brilliant multi-use multi-use do you Jews should have a Hannah? Oh, he's uh, talking with us. Sorry, I should have used enemies, 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 enemies. I gotta read that. 
your quality your enemies will be known among your advertisers long before you meet them your enemies your quality oh i missed it martin yes like chemical weirdness like chemical weirdness might be from the sugar and uh, what type of fruit are you getting could it be from the fruit if they're really sprayed a lot like i use uh like the fruit half of the liqueurs are uh fruit that i picked right so i know those aren't sprayed um uh, and another quarter is basically organic fruit that i buy so i know those aren't sprayed um but i haven't noticed anything with the rest i would say go with organic fruit and organic cane sugar this show i use a, a hannah reduce it if you need to really okay reduce the cannabis yes mason jar mm. they are thank you i'll bet it's the sugar it could be the sugar it could be the sugar okay everybody should have a homeland this earth is not for one kind of people meaning also the palestinians should like should like the jews brothers yeah maybe a movement in the uh, temperature between day and night yeah and for sure make sure sometimes there's heating ducts behind the cabinets make sure that's not there's no heat extra heat there and it might kick in at different times we're watching our chicho videos now laugh on love coolio i might have to go to sleep sweet dreams coolio hold down the fort i think we're good yo i can't hear you you can't hear me i hope you can hear me i suppose it's possible but i always uh rinse them really well oh yeah the the mason jars might have had a residue right clean them busy freeman advertisers or advert adversaries oh adversaries not advertisers enemies oh that's what you win martin i kept on thinking uh, uh advertisers do you do as asmr i do i consider this to be asmr do you want me to make noises <laughs> this is my mic here can you see it <laughs> bro bro this is asmr it's, bro this is asmr oh i didn't know yeah they said perfect okay i'll check okay they asked for a two-state solution though and they declined the offer oh well i'm not going to get involved with that what kind of plant is that behind you i believe this is called a mexican basil you can eat it it's really flavorful I believe it's called a Mexican basil. Flavorful. Why reduce cannabis? Because cannabis takes away from your dreams. And you might be needing to dream to be able to sort out through some of your problems because we solve a lot of problems in our dreams. Okay. Also, different types of cannabis have different types of attack effects and you want to make sure you're never addicted to anything so if you're consuming too much possibly right you don't want to get addicted to everything chicho lip smacking asmr lip smacking <laughs> great chipmunk impression oh thanks busy <laughs> can you eat it right now i did eat more basil that was good enough it's flavorful one little leaf is plenty right eat the whole plant <laughs> no <laughs> oh we got little guys how come at towards the end we get this that's funny relax always be making thank you there's a market i went to recently that was selling a pitcher plant was a pitcher plant if i lived in a state where it wouldn't die i would uh, have bought it pitcher plant airman how are you doing how's life this thing mm, i think it reached this height in a couple of years or maybe a year and a half but i've had this for a while now for a few years 
dark. Doop. Sorry, brother. Timing you out. <laughs> I've become a little bit brutal. Please, more basil. I'll have one more. You said please. I'll have one more. <laughs> Thanks, Spider Man. It's pretty, eh? Pitcher, pitcher plants are carni carnivorous plants. They put out a scent to trap flies, and then they dissolve. Oh, no way. I had a. I had Venus fly traps at some point uh, when I used to have a big space and kids used to come to my uh, my space to study and to do work and stuff like this and then I found out a lot of my plants were dying and what my students were doing they were taking er pencil erasers erasers and putting them into the fly traps <laughs> watching the fly traps close so I was finding my fly traps the plants with erasers in them so they killed my Venus fly traps. The Eddie G, how are you doing? Hey, brother. Hope you're safe and well. Doing well. Thank you very much, Eddie. Hope you're doing well as well. Could you make liqueur out of them? Probably. Yes, probably. It give a really, I don't know, it would probably give a really good flavor. My pleasure. Dirt. Dirt grub. Don't eat all. No, I'm not gonna eat the whole plant. I love my plant. I feel left out, Martin. No blood on my sword. No, no. I even took somebody out. Not out. Timed them out. That was good enough. What's the difference between the Mexican basil you've got there, uh, regular basil? Um, I I don't know if it's called Mexican basil. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's a different flavor. It's it, it's as strong as basil. But it's um, it's it, it's not as heavy. It's a lighter to a certain degree. It goes. Uh, I've put it on sandwiches a little bit. We have other plants around as well. Peppermint liqueur. Yeah, I should try peppermint liqueur. Is it time for America to open back up? Busy. For, open back up for what? And which parts? New York? No, they're in the middle of the pandemic. Who's gonna go see? Okay, let's say you open up the movie theaters. How how many how many brilliant people are gonna go sit down in a movie theater to watch a movie theater? Are you seriously busy? Busy Freeman. Let's assume all the movie theaters are open. Let's assume you live in New York. Would you go sit down in a movie theater and watch a movie in New York? Would you? Spider Man, definitely not. Ryank eight. I followed your instructions and made some leaven liqueur about a year and a half ago, and it's amazing. Thank you. My pleasure. What is your favorite fruit to use? Or, uh, what should I use next? I love the lemon. Uh, cherry is amazing. Blackberry is amazing. Uh, I just drank. Um, take a look. See those guys there? That's um, uh, elderberry. Absolutely amazing. But elderberry will be hard to get your hands on. Uh, pineapple is amazing. Strawberry is amazing. If you love the fruit, try the liqueur. It might be amazing. Lemon is one of my favorites, by the way. Coronavirus mixed the Israeli Palestinian conflict. Uh, video spread in the video spread in the area. Okay, I'm gonna jump the community about a unarmed Israeli. Okay, I'm not gonna get involved with that. Da, 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 war at its finest. COVID spraying people entering a Palestinian city. What about an armored Israeli army vehicle stopping to? We have an anti-COVID. It's just insane what's going on in the world. I live in New York, and I would go to a restaurant right now if they were open. Okay, Rogue. They deliver, I think. 
I haven't been to a movie theater for five years. Good. Well, maybe. There are independent movie theaters that are good. There's no pile of trash Hollywood could entice me with to put, potentially die. <laughs> but think of Disney. Movies are all made from the same formula mostly. The Hollywood movies are, for the most part. My theater still has plans to open in July. It's ridiculous. Absolutely should not open. They were even saying that the government was going to set up guidelines to set up uh, to let people watch movies. To set up to let people. One of the things that might happen now is they might have one seat barrier between each person. So you're going to have arm room and leg room. Who knows? I don't know what they're going to do. Eddie G, unfortunately, I think a lot of people would. Hour, hours after Flora or reopened beaches, they were packed. Too many people mistake science for politics down here. For, yeah. It's not like the danger went away as soon as the politician said, there's no danger. It's crazy. You, I haven't done star fruit or grapefruit. Uh, Absurdicon. Grapefruit would be delicious. I love grapefruit uh, infused vodka. Uh, star fruit, if it's nice and ripe, it would be taste really good as well. I think those are two of my favorite fruits. Try them out. Grapefruit, I could see, would be amazing. Star fruit, I think, would depends on depend on the ripeness. Chicken livers after about a month, but really good. Yeah, strawberry. Lord Cudley, you made strawberry. Very nice. Did you strawberry was fantastic, eh? We went through strawberry ridiculously fast. I need to make again this year. Uh they'll always be making star fruit, the riper it gets, the stronger the flavor. So I think you have to wait until it gets really ripe. You didn't get get it in my in my man. They stopped to get an anti-COVID spray before fighting by a palestinian fighting so both parties don't die from the oh i think it's ridiculous what's going on like the whole situation is like the world is ridiculous right now to a certain degree right i live in uh arkansas we have like 40 deaths never sheltered in place our governor just told us to use common sense and stay distant from people and wear a mask busy and if people everybody use common sense uh the, it, the world would be a way better place right that would be ridiculous and parents with kids would just let their kids sit in a seat next to them then how solid reef uh, solid uh, refills work so selling concession only half people would be allowed in people leave such huge messes and we have to rush to clean and find the demand for seed would be gigantic it would be a dis it would be a disaster it would be a disaster spider-man for movie theaters the west bank will never stop fighting even for covid i don't think anybody will for freedom freedom hard 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 should we call the stream gang let's call it a stream okay start off heavy ended light we take it we take it and martin not on youtube no i'll try to upload this to bitshoot i'll try to upload to bitshoot if it can't be uploaded to bitshoot if bitshoot is having hiccups i'm guessing one of the reasons bitshoot is having hiccups is because there's a lot more people loading on bitshoot so that's what might be going on my pleasure Holden who's and for those of you who have come on the stream who don't know who we are who like to support this project use concise sentences to reply different messages we're on patreon okay if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this work if you want to follow this work it's still a good way to follow this work nothing's behind paywalls uh, so you can follow the work there i'll be announcing a lot more stuff on patreon in the coming 
weeks, months, years. I think we're going to use it as our main platform to share information. Okay. We are live streaming on Twitch. And if you want to follow this work live, Twitch is where you want to be at. And subscribing and following is a great way to support this project. And for those who follow and subscribe on this live stream, thank you very much for the subs. I do announce these streams 30 minutes beforehand on Twitter, Gab, Minds, VK, and Elo. Stay safe, everyone. And thank you for being here, by the way. You can upload on DTube. I'll try. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask our... Uh, Martin joining I'm gonna ask our community to see where people want me to upload our next next video sharing platform. Okay. But Twitter Gab's Minds VKLO and uh Gab are a good way to follow this work too. And I am right now uploading these videos as long as I, they accept them, like I can upload them to BitShoot and YouTube. Okay, so you can follow the work there, the videos. And third platform coming at some point and irrelevant of what you think is going on flatten the curve okay and uh, take care of your healthcare workers and your communities aside from that we're gonna be here tomorrow 420 okay doing a live stream from 4 to 6 p.m. and we'll take a little 10 minute break at 420 so if you need to go outside and chill you can go outside and chill okay and uh, thank you for being here gang mods thank you for taking care of business let's find a safe uh, place to think and view videos 100 percent. thank you for being here gang mods again 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 thank you for taking care of business there's no way we could do this without you guys and for those of you who've been following liking supporting and if you're on youtube you can join channel membership and that's a good way to support this project as well thank you for that and the people on patreon huge huge thank you uh, for those of you who've been around for a long time and have recently joined okay good night everyone i'll see you guys tomorrow 420 forever right bye everyone